Welcome back to the Anchor Down Podcast. This is Season 2, Episode 14. I'm your host, Ian Larrabee. And I'm Carter Collins. Now we're back from Christmas break or winter break, whatever you might want to call it. First day back at school. Are you as excited as I am? Just pleasantly excited. Yes, that is the way to describe it. (laughs) Uh, yeah, no, not even close. Uh, I would, I'd be down for another, you know, couple of weeks of, of break. It's like those PSEO kids that get, they get, I mean, semester break for for college, and so they have like, it's almost a whole month, mm-hmm. man. It's it's close to a month off. Gosh, I wish we could have that. Guess we're not smart enough. Guess, yeah, maybe maybe next time. Um, <clears throat> but no, so we had there was a good bit of sports that happened over break. Um, between everyone and then now we got more sports that are coming here into January. January I think is really a big month like you get a lot of games and stuff going on (laughs) in a short period of time. We can start it off with some wrestling though. We uh, when was it Wednesday last Wednesday so that'd be in the 27th. Mm -hmm. 27th we were over in uh, Rock Ridge for a little try meet. We wrestled against Ashland Wisconsin and then Rock Ridge uh, we ended up beating Ashland as a team, and then we lost to Rock Ridge. Um, but then, like, because there are team, team duels and then individual matches in, in them, um, a lot of kids did pretty good for hitting. There's, there's a lot of improvement going on. You know, we have, we have a lot of younger kids, but a bunch of them are they're listening and they learn and they pick up things in practice, and you go and see them compete, and it's like, wow, you're actually, like, comprehending what's happening. You're actually, like, applying what we just taught you to, to go out there and use it. So that's I, I really like to see that growth and development from, from these younger kids. Um, so we, we still have, we still got a long bit of season left here, but good, you know, not the worst start of the season for us. Um, but now this Thursday, Thursday the 4th, we have a duel against uh, Grand Rapids over in Rapids. Uh, we wrestle up on, you ever been to like the Rife Center there? I don't think so. It's like connected to their school. It's like a little auto. It's like an auditorium. It's like a um, stage and all of that that they use for their plays and stuff. And there's other plays that go there. Are other things that do that we do there. But we get to wrestle up on the stage. Like put them out on the stage, and it's like an auditorium, like seating and stuff. It's it's That's interesting. Awesome. Yeah. And then on Saturday the sixth, we have a tournament down in Mora. So like I said, man, you kind of start picking things up here. A lot of stuff going on. Yeah, basketball also. They had their uh, Christmas tournament over break. Um, <clears throat> didn't, I don't know, it didn't really go how they would have hoped. But, um, you know, they've, they've got a lot of season left up here too. Um, their next game is on Friday, January 1st. That's against Deer River. 5th. January 5th. <laughs> Did I say 1st? Oh, boy. First. It's, a, it's a first day back. It's a first day back. I mean, it's the first day I've had to think in like yeah, a week for a long half. time. Yeah, but uh, good luck to them. Uh, you know, hope they yeah get their first one of the season. Yeah, that tournament is uh, tournament's kind of cool though. I mean, because it's like obviously we we are you know participating, but there's a lot of schools that come up for that. Uh, there was a lot of good basketball I heard that was played, um, and that was what the 27th through the 29th. Mm-hmm. I think it was like three days there, but <clears throat> there was there was a good bit of uh, a good bit of basketball that was going on both in Lincoln and in the high school and seeing all that. Just cool, you know. But yeah, what's hard for the boys is like they lost to MIB by a lot. I know that it was like really? a high scoring that they lost, and then they turned around and lost to like the number six ranked team in the state by like fifteen. So it's like they just like they just gotta get yeah. it together. They just they'll figure it out. Cause. That's yeah, that's one thing that's hard too is like trying to play, trying to be able to compete <laughs> with the people you're playing against. Um, I you know that's like I I know teams even that talk about. Uh, or people like matches where matchups of like you're you're playing against someone that's like kind of not very good and you like also start playing poor but then you like have a better team and you kind of like start to match what they're doing so it is kind of it's kind of that's a tough situation at the mm-hmm. end but yeah I, I mean still a lot of season left to keep going I think they got like 20 games to go roughly yeah there you go 20 games more I mean that's they'll, they'll get something they'll get something dri- jiving in there and start working it up um, then the girls basketball, they uh, lost a close game to Moundsview, which that was, was that Thursday? I think mm-hmm. last Thursday. Um, yeah, oh, we, <laughs> we had wrestling practice Thursday uh, morning, and then we were there in the afternoon-ish too, all day with some younger kids. 
and we got back and we like went in our locker room like you know like that first locker room across from the big gym mm -hmm. walk in there no signs or anything we didn't know well it was like the Moundsview girls were in that locker room they weren't in there at the time we like looked in and i saw their stuff and i'm like yo i don't think we should be in here right now <laughs> like nobody told us this uh so we like quick scurried out of that locker room like oh you better go find something else to do uh, yeah, they're they're. I mean, they're a tough team. I think they're down in the cities. They're <laughs> everything's better down in the cities. I'm sorry, but yeah, the girls. Then they play Duluth East uh, tonight, Tuesday the second at home. So that'll be a that'll be hopefully a, a nice game for them. Hopefully they can start getting some more wins too. You know. I think they either. I think they had a really close game with them earlier in the season. Like Did they? Yeah. Really close. Yeah. yeah. So. Hopefully they can get that figured out. Then the uh, skiing, they had a meet um, over a break. I'm not sure the exact day, but it was, uh, that fr Friday, yes, that first day back or that first day of the break, yeah. And you know they said it was they had a decent meet, but just the bad conditions and just not the, you know, real snow made it kind of difficult. But they said overall, given the conditions and everything, that they had a they had a pretty decent, yeah. Decent meet. That was one thing I was hearing though is that the the. The snow was just, it was just weird because because of it pretty much all being the artificial or like the man-made snow there. Um, it was, A, there was a lot of like ice that was happening, I think. And then there was also just like inconsistency in the snow. Like you get some places that were okay, then like you'd hit a patch of just terrible. So it was... Uh, was not 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 the best conditions for that you know that's tough though i mean this year has just been horrendous with the snow and weather we finally you think the snow's gonna stay now i think it might i don't know we were driving i was driving back from fishing over uh in bemidji when in the midst of that big snowstorm mm -hmm. and it was i mean you could tell that there had not been much snow because nobody knew how to drive <laughs> like it was like no. 32 miles per hour the whole two oh, hour way no. it was a nightmare yeah you could yeah, just I don't... tell I don't get that. It's like uh, once the snow, snow's coming down in the first like week or so, everyone's just Terrified. lost on it the road. Two hands on the wheel. Like takes them like a month to acclimate to the driving of snow. Like, it's not that serious. I was driving down First Ave the other day, and uh, speed limit's forty five. Like when you get south out mm -hmm. of town, there forty five. No, we're doing twenty five. Why? I don't really know, but for like the whole way down, we're going 25 miles an hour. The snow is not that serious. Yeah, no, it was not that bad. And even on 169, I think we were doing about 35 most of the way just because there's just a line of cars. You yeah, can't even you pass. can't pass. There are cops everywhere too, <laughs> sitting at every little point, pulling people over like crazy. Well, I heard was. there was. I heard there was been. There's been a, quite a few pretty bad accidents um, on. That that first night, I think, or like the second night, because there was there's been a couple days here too where like after that snow, or like the it was like raining kind of, and then it freezes overnight because of that weather, and it like gets ice underneath it, and those roads kind of can get a little slippery, but um, yeah, so I did. I mean, like, I get some caution, but for sure, but like in town, <laughs> it's not that serious, you know. Like you're probably not gonna go spin out and like you know burst into a pile of flames yeah no <laughs> but well we can hope anyway yeah right uh and then the boys swimming team they uh not totally too sure how everything's going for them i know they're all right this year um <clears throat> i think we've talked about it they they lost a couple seniors that were are pretty good but uh but they had a they've been having practices man they they benziano guys them practice like crazy it's it's impressive um the all a break they're there at 8 a.m like 8 to 11 i think is probably their schedule like 8 to 11 they've even been practicing this past saturday i know I'm like that sounds terrible uh, yeah right uh but they have they've only had i think two meets now. i believe so yeah so they they really haven't had much but they start they're like the late the last sport to start i think or mm -hmm. them and skiing are pretty much tied so they still have a lot a lot of meets and all that to go left this year so you know good luck to all of them when that comes up and then uh, boys hockey, they beat two rivers three and one. I want to say that was their ninth win of the year already here. And uh, they're at home against Greenway on Thursday the fourth, and then again um, they're at Little Falls on Saturday the sixth. So they're they're picking it up here. They I know they had a really good hot streak. I think they won like five games straight. Yeah. 
and they're they're picking them up. They're it, and they already beat Greenway, right? That was the mm-hmm. they beat them a couple weeks ago. Yeah, by yeah. a pretty wide margin. I think. Yeah, so it was a good game, <clears throat> and it's probably hopefully gonna be even better now at home. Mm-hmm. We'll take it. Yeah, um, no, they're 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 doing all right this year. Uh, there's there's definitely a lot of room for for some improvement there with. Uh, they're trying to do better, but overall, I don't really think you can be too upset with the season as it's going so far. I think um, they're nine and five. Yeah, I want to say so. And they've had they've had some close games. They've had they've had a couple games that are maybe not not what they would have liked. I think uh, I heard a couple different couple people talking about some of those losses, but but overall, I mean, they're they're doing well, and you know, just kind of hope they can keep keep playing to that standard. Then the girls, the girls hockey, they. Uh, Oh yeah, because the boys they were down in um, the cities. This was it like it was like a it was like a weekday, like a week, like a couple days during the week this past week for a tournament um, that they had two two or three games mm-hmm. down there, and they won. I know they won that one, and then they won that next one. And then the girls hockey team they were down there as well. They they like the boys were down there till like Wednesday, and the girls like got there Thursday or Wednesday as well. They were down in the cities, and they did. Um, <clears throat> I don't even know. Really. They did pretty well. They yeah. lost one to they zero. Lost, yeah, in their final game, and but overall, close. the girls are also doing you know not terrible. They lost a couple seniors last year that or this year that kind of uh, kind of messes with you when you lose those seniors like that, especially when they add when they really do add something because sometimes they don't add. They, sometimes mm-hmm. you have seniors and it's like oh no you left. Yeah. But when you have when you have some of the, like those girls and the guys that were on the teams last year that that were genuinely a big part of the team. Um, you just gotta find a new, gotta find a new group, gotta start like you know working on your own stuff. But yeah, but that's about about all for for the sports in the Hibbing right now. Um, yeah, January it's kind of slow, kind of a slow start to the year, right? It's the start of the year. A lot of things are getting refreshed or kind of starting to come up. Um, not really anything going on in particular, other than that, other than those sports, and even sports, it's um. It's kind of quiet for a second, and then everything mm-hmm. just kind of starts getting rolling. I'm ready for the time to fly by, though. Yeah. If it was June already, I wouldn't complain. I'm ready to be graduated and out of here. <laughs> yeah. Um, but then there is also uh, the on January 17th, and it's at uh, Mike's Pub, I believe. Um, connect with the uh, range delegation. So it's. Uh, through the Hibbing Chamber of Commerce, uh, you can start reserve or signing up for like reservations for that, which is um, like some representatives and like a local state senator will be there to kind of answer questions or provide more information about the upcoming uh, legislative session that starts uh, in February, I believe. So, you know, open to open to the public if you reserve that, and. Um, and that'll be coming up January 17th, so there's still time for that, but we can, you know, bring that up again and see people get out there for that, which is kind of neat. Taking take in, uh, opinions if you have them. I'm sure a lot of people do. Oh, I'd imagine so. <clears throat> That's kind of wrapping up everything in Hibbing yeah. going around town right now anyways. Uh, a little more professionally, we have the Timberwolves. They are Minnesota's. They're keeping up their – they're doing all right. They did lose to the Knicks yesterday, I think, right? I think they're 25-8 uh, now. I think 26 and – 26 and 8? Could be. Something like that, yeah. Uh, but they're – I mean, they're still first in the – first in their division, and then uh, – they're 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 just doing pretty, they're doing well. My brother went down to a game. He went down to the uh, the Mavericks. They play the Mavericks uh, on like last last Thursday or something like that. Really cool atmosphere though. When you like those when you get seasons that are winning like that, man, the stadiums just get even more packed and you get so much more support and it's it's even more electric and exciting to be there. Unlike the Panther <laughs> the Panthers home games this year. Those are just sad and depressing. They have. They're just empty stands for them. No one, no one wants to watch. I don't know why. I mean, yeah, who they, would not want to watch the one in fifty? <laughs> yeah, the one in fifteen band. You don't want to go to that game. Gosh. Uh, yeah. No, that's uh, that's that's rough. Speaking of rough, though, well, those Vikings. So got a three percent chance to make those playoffs. <laughs> chance. Yeah. <clears throat> Cannot complain about the Packers playing that game. I I thoroughly enjoyed that. But also, I mean, 
I don't know. I just think it's like it has to happen where the Packers win one game the Vikings win the other game, mm-hmm. you know. It's always going to happen. It just it's, you know, it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a regular season if that didn't go down. Mm-hmm. But uh but it was kind of a brutal beating. That was the only thing. It was a bit of a it was a bit of a stomp. Well, and the Vikings, they just don't have a quarterback right now. No, they just they struggle. Don't. I mean, they I'm hoping Jaron Hall could do something, but I think it was pretty obvious early that that wasn't going to be the case and I mean, Nick Mullins is just like he's got to be just a like a comedic experiment, like I swear, like that guy just does not read the field. He just he just chucks he it just up chucks and says it. whatever. Yeah, just he he's just such a meh. I don't care. Just I'm just gonna throw this thing as hard as I can way downfield. Yeah, no, that was it's rough with those those quarterbacks. Um, I mean, there were several plays there watching it where Hall. I mean, he just had no idea what to do. He was just lost and being a rookie. He was like, yeah. yeah. There was the one that was that. Uh, <clears throat> forced fumble that uh he was trying to throw it and just got the ball hit they jumped on it the one there was one real bad one towards the end of the set or the end of the first i think the end of the first half where like he was kind of free like he wasn't really having anything but he just like chucked the ball and it just like flew right out of his hands and just terrible pass horrendous pass and he didn't really have that much pressure coming and it was things like that. It's like, yeah, I don't, I don't think the, I don't think the people in charge of that company are like, no, I don't think no, the no, leaders no. of the Vikings are happy right now. You didn't even see the second half, so no. I can't imagine. Now we don't even know who's going to start this week. Uh, yeah, Kevin O'Connell said he made a decision, but he's not ready to tell until he tells the players. Yeah, he's still so, got Dobbs sitting on I'm, the bench too. I'm thinking too. it's Dobbs. It's got to yeah. be. I mean, why not? Just. <laughs> See if he can make a fluke win and, and <laughs> so, pull off man. some crazy stuff to make the playoffs. Use those mathematics in his yeah. brain, you know. Like calculate, calculate how to win. Yeah, calculate beat, how beat to beat the Lions. Cal- that's that's say, kind of need to win that game if they really want to do anything. If they win that one, it would take like the Seahawks have to lose, the Packers have to lose. Like they're it's, it would take a lot. They're they're definitely out. But. Yeah, but oh well. Um, yeah, that was like I remember watching that game. They were talking about the Bears. The Bears, they were struggling. If the if the Vikings and the Packers would have tied, if they would have had a tie game, though, the Bears would have had a chance mm-hmm. to make it. Still, that would have been absurd. They're um, on the they're on a hot streak though. I think they're like six and two dude, over their last eight. He, uh, what's Justin Fields? He popped off a little bit. He had yeah. like it was a thirty seven point game, mm-hmm. and um, the stadium was cheering that we want Fields because yeah. they they got that first overall pick. Yeah, because of the Panthers. Just absolutely choking that away for Bryce yeah. Young. Yeah, Bryce Young, that's terrible. He's struggling. He's struggling. Yeah, is that lot. poor guy though? Like, you just look at him. He's about. They say he's five ten, but he's uh, tiny. Yeah, he's about five nine, five ten, one hundred ninety pounds. They figure he's playing at. Those are some big guys to be. Yeah. And he has no O line. No O line. No receivers to catch the ball. No, I mean, so, and yeah. then you got Thielen stuck over there. Too, yeah, which the, poor Thielen. Right I know. Yeah. Um, the Eagles, Eagles, Philadelphia Eagles losing to the the Arizona Cardinals. Man, when I saw that score, I was happy. I, that was, you know, on a day of really bad Vikings football, <laughs> that, that made me happy. Yeah, that's something to be smiling yeah. about. Yeah, the, Vi- the the Eagles, man, I just hope they get, I hope they just get annihilated quickly here. I sure hope so. Well, now that the 49ers clinched the first seed, mm-hmm. you know, Philly's going to have to play first round and depending on where they see that, they could be matched up with, like, you know, a Dallas-type team, and I would love to I think see Dallas that. Dallas would whoop them again. I, as much as I hate the Cowboys, I'd like to see Dallas just knock them, them out and then go it, into San Fran. Because you know Dallas isn't going to make it anywhere else <laughs> further than that. Like, Dallas doesn't have that ability. Um, then the Ravens, man, those Ravens are just unreal right now. Ah. Uh, I'm not the biggest Lamar fan. Really? But, but I think he's probably got the MVP. MVP, yeah. yeah. After that game he had, though, he just had a terrific game. Um, but the 49ers and then Blade, I thought, I I still kind of think that's going to be the Super Bowl, is that matchup right there. 49ers but, uh, Ravens. But I think it'll go a little bit differently. But yeah, that was, a, that was an interesting game. It was, especially for the Dolphins side, because they're now like 1 in 5 against. Dolphins, teams with a winning record. Yeah, Dolphins are yeah, just frauds. They are. They're just not going to. Yeah, Ravens just. Just, was 50, it 56? 56 yeah. to like, I want to say like 20, or yeah. 13 type thing. Like it was. It's tough. They're frauds. It's tough. Yeah, they're, they're frauds. There's nothing else. They can win the bad teams, but the bad teams don't make the playoffs. Yeah, so. right. It doesn't matter. Especially in the AFC. That is yeah. Not going to work. Yeah. Um, 
But yeah, that's about uh, everything going on right now. You know, we got got we got a lot of sports that are going to be starting up here, so we'll have a lot more to be talking about. I'm 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 guessing, and then fresh Nick, yeah, man, just like I want to see those Timberwolves do well. I'm kind of getting into. I don't really watch basketball that much, but I kind mm-hmm. of get excited about that now, watching them do well. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think that's pretty much everything we have going on right now. Got back from Christmas break. First day, we'll be back again regularly now on Tuesdays. So we'll see you next week on Anchor Down. For over 25 years, U.S. Bank, located at 211 East Howard Street in Hibbing, Minnesota, has provided office and studio space for Hibbing Public Access Television. We are thankful for their ongoing support.